Welcome to Uli Science Shorts. Hagerman Peak is located in the Elk Mountain Range in central Colorado. At 13,841 feet, it is one of Colorado's centennials, or 100 highest peaks. Looking at the slopes of Hagerman in the summertime, you may notice lots of piles of rocks. This is called scree. Wind, water, and the force of gravity slowly wear down the exposed mountain in a process called erosion. Scree, in particular, forms as a result of ice on a mountain slope. During the day, water can flow into cracks and spaces in the rock. If the temperature drops enough, the water freezes. Since water expands by about 9-10% to when it freezes, it can generate enough force to open the cracks even further, or even create new cracks, until eventually the rock falls apart. This freeze-thaw process is most common during the spring and fall, when daily temperatures fluctuate around the freezing point of water, and snowmelt provides ample amounts of water. How does this type of erosion impact mountains in the long term? The Appalachian Mountains on the east coast of the U.S. stopped growing millions of years ago. As a result, water and wind were able to erode these once majestic mountains, mountains that rival the height of the Himalaya, to gentle rolling hills in the present day. The Himalaya in Asia continued to uplift due to the collision of India with Eurasia, a process which started 40 million years ago. The Himalaya continue to rise today more than one centimeter a year. And the Rockies? They're still slowly rising, but erosion is starting to take its toll. Scree slopes are known for their instability, so when climbing on them, tread lightly. <laughs>